If God is all powerful, why is my bank account so empty? Have you ever felt like that? Well, financial struggles are a very real part of life, and I would even say an essential experience for the Christian, because it's in those times that we are reminded to trust Him to provide our need. Matthew 5.3 tells us that God blesses those who are poor and realize their need for Him, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. See, God is more concerned with our heart than our bank account. It reminds me of a man we like to call the rich young ruler who wanted to buy or earn his way into heaven. He was expecting Jesus to be impressed, but instead Jesus showed no interest in his money, only his heart. And he told him to sell all his riches, give it to the poor, and then come and follow him. In one sentence, Jesus revealed the man's problem. He loved his money more than God. In Ephesians, it says that the greedy will not inherit the kingdom of God because they worship money. I like how Paul used the word greedy here and not rich, because it's also possible to worship money when you don't have it, to become so obsessed on getting it that it becomes your God. So as Christians, how can we avoid the snare of money? In his book, The Pursuit of God, Tozer has a chapter called The Blessedness of Possessing Nothing. In it, he tells the story of Abraham and Isaac and how it was necessary for Abraham to go through the process of at least laying Isaac on the altar in order to understand that everything he had, even his son, was only borrowed from God. When we learn to do this with everything in our life, our house, our car, our job, our family, our health, we will understand the words of Jesus when he said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. In other words, put your life's focus on pleasing him, and he will provide what you need. Let money be the blessing from our hard work, not the focus of it. And whatever your hand finds to do, do with all your might as if you're doing it for God, not for money. In 1 Chronicles 29, David practiced this idea as he gave his entire wealth of gold and silver for the building of the temple. Let me leave you with this song of praise. Wealth and honor come from you alone, for you rule over everything. Power and might are in your hand, and at your discretion people are made great and given strength. O oh, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name.